again thank you for watching these videos mm, today we are going to see something different I just bought an old axe head which is this one for 10 bucks uh, here in Madrid and I want to restore it and give it a new life so let's see all the process follow me well this is the axe and the first thing we're going to do is to take off the handle Well, this is the head of the handle. There is a cylindrical piece of wood inserted uh, to expand the wood. And we can see there is another wedge, another wooden wedge, uh, which secures the handle a little bit better because, well, this this um, this handle is is quite old. It should be quite easy to take it away and, well, we can use a screwdriver to move it and then it comes out very, very easily. Now we took off the edge, we can uh, try to take the axe head off the handle too. It uh, should be quite easy. Let's see if it moves. Uh, and now it goes. I'm using a hammer to help me take the axe head away. Let's use it gently because we don't want to, to ruin anything. Okay, the axe is very old, so let's go. And now we have the axe head separated from the handle, which is no longer ready to use for us. As you can see, the blade is much worn out. The one of the corners uh, is even broken. And well, clearly there's no sharp edge left. Mm, there's no way to cut with this thing. Uh, there's much chipping so, and it's completely rusty. So there's a lot of work to do. So the head is fixed in the clamp. I, I use two leather pieces to protect it properly. I will begin to work vertically on this side and then the other. Let's go. Now we take off mass of the outside using a medium wire brush like this on a simple drill. Okay, you can see there are some results. While here it's still rusty, here we reveal the original metal, yet very dark. Um, the other side is untouched, so it becomes clear how much we did. Here we go. Now it's time for the back side of the head. This area is already polished, but there's a lot to do. Well, the polishing is effective uh, so far. From now, uh, we'll work uh, with a grinder with sandpaper number 80. It's a high velocity power tool, so the glasses are mandatory in these cases. I don't know if you can see it, but the axe is getting now a polished finish. There's still so much to do, but we're definitely 
getting close to the final result. Mm, on both sides the metal is revealed. I like the looking that it's getting. Um, well, this area here is very worn out, but I'll leave it as it is um, to give it a, quite an old look. Well, hope you can see it, how oh, it's getting on um, on the back it's much darker and we are getting a beautiful shape of the axe where we'll sharpen it. So far I'm um, pretty happy with the work done on the blade uh, but here there is an area that'll be a little complicated to fix now I'm using a pointing oil to make a preliminary sharpening well the oil is important in this phase to get a better result What we are doing here is to fix all the cheap pinks uh, you saw at the beginning of the video. We'll work with this tool now to get a very shiny look and um, a better edge. The blue wax is the right one for it now. Polishing pad, we'll use the brown wax instead. Well, here we go. The work is done so far. I think it's a nice result. It's not rusty anymore. Um, dark burnished area gives a traditional look where the edge is shiny and well from an axe you couldn't cut butter with uh, well I think it's got in a new life thanks for watching my video hope you liked it uh, there is a second video uh, with a handle and finished axe um, coming soon uh, please subscribe. Thank you.